Here's the cause of most problems in relationships. Ownership, possession, objectification. As soon as we reduce in our minds, in our state of consciousness, in our observation, the other entity, the one who we believe we're in relationship to, as soon as we reduce their freedom, their agency, their, the fact that they are an inseparable expression of the one infinite creation, once we stop seeing the other entity as a free creator, we will automatically think of them, whether we want to or not, as an object in our game, in our plan, in our strategy to get domination over others, to get security, safety, comfort, pleasure, have our needs met, and all that. So the best way to restore this is to be really radical with yourself and say, I'm causing so much suffering in my relationship, and my relationship is causing me so much suffering. The only wise thing to do is to grow up. And growing up means that I have to get really, really real with myself and why I'm in this relationship and how I treat in my mind, not even just physically, that's after, not even just verbally, that's after, how I treat this person in my mind. And if I treat them, if I mistreat them in my mind, if I see them as an object in my game, even a little bit, if I think they owe me anything, if I think that they are responsible for my well-being to whatever extent, whatever extent, even if it's just a little bit, I am abusing the free creator that's over there by reducing them to an object in my game. That's not love. It's got nothing to do with love. Relationships are a man-made fabrication. There's no evidence, there's no proof in the actual isness of existence that a relationship is an actual thing. Just like the whole universe is quiet, except in our minds. A tree doesn't call itself a tree. Those stones don't call themselves stones. A body doesn't call itself the body. The universe, if you learn to listen without your mind, is completely quiet. A relationship is a label, it's a definition that comes with a host of assumptions and ideas that are all rooted in human insecurity. Love means, to love another means to work on your insecurities to the point where you no longer need them for your well-being and you only wish them well. And so you know that your integrity and your love is restored once you can look at that entity and see them as the creator, see them as the one infinite creator, see them as this free expression of the one infinite creator, not in any way, shape or form to whatever extent as a, your object, no possession, no objectification, that's abuse that starts in the mind. And then that will bleed into your relationship. All difficulties in relationships are abuse. They are a result of mental abuse first and foremost. It's a harmful way to see another entity is to see them as an object that owes you something. You're not entitled to anything from anyone. So, unconditional love, my friends. It's a radical step, but once you see how fucked up your relationships are without it, you will grow up. You will make that tough choice to prefer unconditional love over your selfish needs and desires. And then, when your purity, your integrity, towards your soul, towards God, towards the creator within, towards other selves, seeing them as the creator, has been restored. You will feel your purity return, and this purity now becomes the fountain of your well-being, the fountain of your energy, the fountain of your creative energy, the fountain of your happiness, the fountain of your generosity. Now you will feel good about yourself in a really deep, profound, holistic way, peaceful, and yet excited, loving, 